jobs that don't involve your major but still bring in an income. Okay, and so there's a career fair that's after you graduate. Now, that's, that's, that's before you graduate, but I mean, uh, then there's another wing that looks for jobs once you acquire certifications, which you could get in six or eight months or so. Okay. Then once you get close to graduating, you'll have your own representative down there. They'll be sending you weekly emails telling them when different companies will be here. Okay. You have an opportunity to sign up for that. So there's a couple dozen companies, three dozen companies sometimes every two or three weeks. There was uh, five um, criminal justice companies here last Friday. So, um, but four times a year, four times a year, they'll have a more mammoth event. And the point of that is to try to bring like 150 companies in the same day so that somebody may even want to take off work that day to come down here to spend the whole day doing nothing but interviewing the jobs. Right. So they try to set that up four times a year, but all during the week, there are companies here every week. Regionally accredited, you need to have so many volumes of <coughs> this, that, and the other. Unlike most schools, most of the books in this library have something to do with IT or engineering or business or homeland security. They're not going to be whole vast caverns of books on Shakespeare in here. It's half the library where I went to school. Um, different students use libraries in different ways. But most of the students here that go to this school are going to be more tech savvy than some places. Mm -hmm. And because of that, most of the students here wouldn't use any of this at all. They'd all use the online library, then they'd have to worry about bringing books back. Because of that, ECPI is one of the largest online libraries in any school in the South because that's how all the students use them. Whereas where I went to school, there's some students using it that way, but the greater majority using it in a more traditional way. Mm -hmm. Down that front hall is your math reading and writing center. You can pop in there for English related, math related things that go on as you go to school. Every floor have different computer labs. Every computer in the building has internet access, Wi Fi access. There are more computers in the building than there are students. I don't know if I wait to get on one, but in a computer career, most students would think that's a good thing. Uh -huh. And then the hours of access for uh, a current enrolled student, up they allow 10, them? Up to 10 at night. 10 p.m.? Okay. All right, over here, when you finish specific courses, you can deal with your academic advisor. He can assign you a tutor and bring you down here to the certification in the library. And you start your prep some sort of certification testing that's going to mirror some course you just finished taking. When you and they think you're ready, you'll use one of the five vouchers that would come with your associate's degree or ten that could come with your bachelor's degree. Take one of them to that window over here. Mm -hmm. They'll put you in that room right next door to that, and you do your certification testing right on the premises. The results print up the same day, wow. so you can start using on your resume tomorrow. So there are students in the past have gotten jobs tomorrow based on some cert that they earned today. But when you want to get involved with those is when you finish taking the course. Because if you waited to the end to do that, the first thing you got to go back and restudy up on all that material. And the second reason is you might go and be able to get a job based on the fact you have the search right then. Then that could also allow somebody else to help you pay for a greater portion of school. Sure. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of two reasons it's a good idea that sooner as soon as you finish taking the course rather than wait on that. So now once you get that cert, um, do they always, let's say you get the cert, they print it out and you have it, you can use it tomorrow on your resume. Now, uh, let's say six months goes by, somehow you lost the cert, do they always have a record of it and they can they give can it to you? They can give you a replacement for you. Uh, okay, that's awesome. But the certs actually don't come from them, the certs come up, sent to you from the company. Oh, they can give you documentation that you pass the thing and are waiting for it. Sure. Which sure. gives you the authorization to use it on your resume. Hey. In different places in the building, they have a kiosk set up. And if there are, for example, there are, if you need, you're having problems with some particular course and you need some extra tutoring, what day it's offered, who's offering it, what room it's in, and where, where to go and how to sign up for it. There are clubs at ECPI also. Every school has clubs, but um, um, there are different ones for different businesses. 
one of the ones I guess that's making the news more than any other is this uh, gaming. gaming club. Uh, <laughs> you can't say you can't make money playing games anymore. Uh, they, um, there's, uh, and they have tournaments that go on here. We have, we have a, we had a uh, vars varsity, varsity squad as well as a JV squad. And they're up to $5,000 scholarships for being on the gaming team. Oh, wow. And uh, so, but they compete against all the schools. They have practices going all during the week. I, you weren't interested so much in the software side, so we kind of by bypassed that on the floor we were in. But you can, they have tryouts for that every five weeks. Uh -huh. This door is gone. We 